English or in Urdu? Either way. Somebody has uh, uh, the questioner from Palestine last week. Um, uh, he expressed his um, uh, unsatisfactory dissatisfaction, dissatisfaction uh, from my um, answer. Uh, the, the question, the way I relate the question or ask the question to Hazur, and he said, I have mentioned a few points there regarding whether we can consider the hadith as a source of the Sharia or, or law in the Islamic uh, law. And he mentioned three points. The first one was uh, uh, the eating of uh, the donkey, whether it's permissible to eat a donkey or not. And the second one was uh, to marry uh, um, uh, an auntie, the, the, the mother's uh, uh, sister or the father's sister. And those points that were, uh, were not mentioned in the Quran according to what he says. And we got them, where did we get you them? See, as far as the eating of donkey is concerned, I think it takes a donkey to eat a donkey. <laughs> The Holy Qur'an speaks of hikmah and when it stresses upon hikmah, so lots of things are left to hikmah alone. So donkey has no hikmah. So I, ho I request this gentleman to use his grey cells and hikmah. The Holy Qur'an does not declare unlawful so many animals which we do not eat. You don't eat lions, you don't eat ti tigers, you don't eat wolves, you don't eat dogs. So there's so many things which uh, our conscience requires us not to eat. So in the Quran, it is said, Halalan Tayyaba. So if they are not mentioned as non halal, they're not Tayyab anyway. So in this verse, this, this special mention is made here. After this, we, I'll turn to the next question. <laughs> really? Yes, Jeb. <laughs> no, maybe I misunderstood. And what do you want to say? He said a donkey eats a donkey. No, no, it it no, takes... No. I say it takes a donkey to eat a donkey. It takes it. A man without a sense, without sense like donkeys, would perhaps think of eating donkeys, yes. but if you use your common sense, yes. which is based on the hikmah of the Quran, mm -hmm. which is so much stressed in the Holy Quran. Yes. Yes. So why don't you use hikmah? <laughs> there yeah. are so many other animals like yes. crows, owls, and uh, wolves, etc., dogs. You can count any number of them, yes. but the Holy Quran did not make give a full list of all these. Yes. Only it said one halalan tayyiba. Yes. They don't fall into the category of tayyib. That's why. So if somebody thinks them to be halal, they're not tayyib anyway. Yeah.